This is your CBSLA.com News Brief. Hello, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. Here's what's happening around the Southland. The LA City Council approved Mayor Eric Garcetti's massive $8.75 billion budget. That budget includes nearly $1.5 billion for the LAPD, $634 million for the LA Fire Department, $138 million to address homelessness, and $31 million to fix LA's sidewalks. The budget takes effect on July 1st. A new federal report says Plains All-American Pipeline did not react quickly enough to the oil spill in Santa Barbara last year. The report now clears the way for fines and penalties against the company. Earlier this week, Plains All-American and one employee were indicted on criminal charges related to that spill. Some young writers in North Hollywood have quite a story to tell after mentoring by CBS employees. Each child wrote a screenplay. And today, the kids auditioned actors and watched their screenplays be performed at Rio Vista Elementary School. It's part of the Young Storytellers program. For the latest on these stories and your news any time of the day, go to CBSLA.com. And now here's a look at what's coming up tonight at 11 on CBS2 News. Tonight at 11, the traffic, the lines. It can take as long to get to the airport as it can to get through the airport. Will a multi-billion dollar remodel stop the insanity? Paul Majors takes you inside the future of LAX. Tonight at 11 on CBS2 News. It's the most popular weight loss supplement worldwide, touted as a miracle, and some celebs swear by it. But could it really make you lose weight like a star? CBS2 with the truth of what could be the celebrity slimming supplement. Tonight on CBS2 News at 11. And immediately following CBS2 News at 11, watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Tonight's guests are actress Rose Byrne, chef Bobby Flay, and Weird Al Yankovic. Watch The Late Show with Stephen Colbert tonight at 11.35 on CBS2. Hello, I'm CBS2 meteorologist Rich Fields. Well, not much change in cloud cover or temperatures the last uh, 24 to 48 hours, and we're going to even pick up more cloud cover the next couple of days. We did clear out to hazy sunshine, 71 officially today for the daytime high downtown. There's an area of low pressure up in the Pacific Northwest. It's going to be dropping into the area Friday, Saturday. As a matter of fact, it's going to even linger on into Sunday here in the uh, Southern California area, picking up our onshore flow, picking up the cloud cover, bringing in a chance of drizzle and even some light shower activity the next couple of days. So that's the forecast for overnight tonight. Marine layer, low clouds and fog, chance of early morning drizzle, 59 for the overnight low. Take a look at the next seven days in the extended outlook. Uh, downtown Los Angeles tomorrow, that temperature is incorrect. More like 70 for the daytime high, 68 out at the beach, 69 for the valleys with drizzle and light shower activity possible. We're going to stay under mostly cloudy skies through Wednesday of next week. That's a look at your forecast. All this week on CBS 2 News at 5, we are helping you say I do. CBS2 and The Knot are bringing you Wedding Week. Discover local hidden gems for venues, food like you've never tasted, and dresses. Beautiful, unforgettable dresses. Join us for Wedding Week this week on CBS2 News at 5. That is your CBSLA.com news brief. CBSLA.com is where we're always on. Click listen live to hear KNX News Radio and our other stations anywhere you are.